<laughs> groundhog day i swear it's groundhog day but it's one more groundhog day so here's the deal uh today we have all the paperwork i think we have all the paperwork to get on the ferry i will be leaving la paz so this should be my last night here <laughs> it's been a nice hotel it almost makes me think of the hotel california song you know where you, you get there and you can't leave <laughs> you know Today is a, an event of trying to get out and trying to get away. We're going to Mazatlan today and we'll take that ferry. But we have a few things that I want to do today. Not a lot, you know, just taking it easy. But first thing is uh, morning exercises. And today I believe uh, this gentleman here with the KLR, he is Greg from Los Angeles. I believe he's taking the ferry as well. And he is doing a, the, a long trip to Ushuaia, Argentina. But he is a cinematographer. And I believe he's doing some projects uh, focusing on a documentary about uh, environmental projects that people are doing and so forth along the way. For me today, I've been dealing with, I haven't been sharing it, but I've been dealing with a lot of hip and lower back pain. And... A friend of mine sent me a, uh, some information and he says, take a look at this psoas, P-S-O-A-S, psoas, muscle groups uh, to work on. And so part of my exercise program is going to be stretching the, uh, basically it's a lot of hip flexor, you know, hip flexors and this, and this psoas muscle. Sounds funny, eh? Sounds like sore ass, but yeah, it's a psoas muscle. It starts with the letter P and you can look it up. And uh, so I'm going to start trying to do some of those and see if I can get some relief because even the, uh, I don't know if you recall, but the pain that I was feeling back in California or Nevada, I think it was Nevada, when I dumped the bike and I was trying to lift, I, my, my lower back was just killing me. Well, that's like really low, like right in the, right in the arse area, right? And uh, so I needed to do something. It kind of, kind of went away for a little bit, but then it kind of came back and it's come back with a vengeance right now. And I think it's because... I'm not getting out and doing a lot of physical. I'm doing a lot of sitting. You know, I sat with people, a lot of restaurants, sitting, hanging out, sitting at the beach, doing that kind of thing. And so I, I'm going to try incorporating some of these exercises into my morning routine. Basically, when I get up, I'm going to start stretching it and see if see if that can help. Because, man, it's like it's debilitating. It's just like a sharp knife in your back and you just... You can't move. Like you get up and you go, oh, just this tiniest little thing, this tiniest little thing. So, you know, this is not a healthy way to live life. And it's not going to make you a happy guy in the morning. I can tell you that. I can tell you that. So I'm going to try to incorporate some of those stretches, some of those um, exercise programs. Basically, they tighten your butt up. They stretch out your hip flexors. And I guess they work this psoas muscle. And I'm going to try to do those and see if that can help. Uh, because, man, it, it's just like, it's really painful. And uh, short of that, um, I think when I get to Mazatlan, if I'm not feeling some sort of relief, like, you know, when I go walk here, if I do something, I might have to look up a chiropractor and just see if that's the issue. Maybe I've got something, you know, something in my hip, boom, kind of out of line. Because that's, that's happened a lot in my days. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, I guess that's life over 50. <laughs> More like life approaching 60. But whatever, let's uh, get on with it and we'll see. What uh, the psoas stretches actually helped a lot. This is the Scorpion AT950 helmet. 
The jaw is too tight, way too tight in here for me. So I'm attempting to punch it out by stuffing this very dense um, towels in here and then closing it to put more pressure and the pressure is squeezing this down. I'm hoping that that's gonna work. By a friend back home in Vancouver, he said, take them out, take tweezers in the back and take some of the stuffing out. And so I'm gonna try both, but first this, and if I can get it so that it's comfortable, I mean, this is a real, ah, pretty dense and I rolled them up nice and tight. And uh, you can see that this got pressed down a little bit, but I'm hoping that, I'm hoping it's gonna stay out. But if not, then I'm gonna need to take this pad out, go in there and take some of the foam out of there because it's just, it's just too tight. And hopefully that relieves the pressure and then the helmet is uh, good to go. The bike is packed and I'm gonna go get some provisions and then I'm gonna meet up with Arctic Paul and go for a bite to eat. So looking forward to that. Cheers. Well, Arctic Paul and Michelle and I had some really nice tacos and some ice cream. We'll see you again. Yeah, see you soon. They can do, eh? Yeah. And go for a rip, eh? Yeah, if you, if you end up staying, I'm up for a rip, bud. <laughs> if, you, uh, if you end up staying in La Paz more, let me know. Or if I come back again, eh? <laughs> or if you don't leave, we'll see what happens. Yeah, again, yeah. Time. Cheers, see brother. Ya. Take care. Ciao. Bien, ¿y tú? Muy bien. Muy bien, I like Eso, it. Do you have the tip? Sí. Need the tip and passport. passport. Do I need this on the exit? No. Keep no? them together anyways, yeah? <laughs> Make everyone's life. Where is it? Oh, just clothes and tools. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. You have a great day. Let's go see what we have for what the challenge is now. Next piece is the boarding pass. Hola. I already did that. They said I don't need it again. Another one? I already bought the ticket. It's okay, but you need to go through the inspections and then the skills to bring me these papers. I did that yesterday. You need to do it again. I have to do it again. And I have to pay again? No, I s keep the ticket. Yeah, they charge 100 pesos for that, yeah? Uh -huh, but oh, I give them this. No, you give the ticket when you pay for that. I've already they paid for you, it. They give you a ticket Yeah. the price. Do you, ha do you have it? No, I gave it here and they said, okay. No, we don't, we don't keep the ticket of the cost. Hmm, so when I bought this, I did that because I couldn't get it, yeah? And then they said, I said, do I need that again? She says, no, you've done it already. You don't have to do it again. I've done it. She says, that's how you get this. You can't no, get this without it. I can give you the ticket without this paper. I see. So I have to do that again. Even though I've already done it, I have to pay again. No, you don't. That's I'm saying. You don't need to pay. Hi. So you keep the ticket. The ticket. No, she took it. She took it when they did this. No, we don't. Ah. Just give this a photo, the name of this paper. We just give this. But you give the ticket, the price that you take. Oh, okay. So when I show them this, they'll give me that. Then I come back and I do that. I see. Okay. Gracias. And uh, because I did pay for it already, although it's a whole 100 pesos, which is all of, what is that, $7. I don't really care. But the point is I actually don't want to go back and stand in line and do it all again when I've already done it. Okay. 
So I did this yesterday. I already have a ticket, yeah? But she says I have to get the blue paper. You just reserve it. reserve it. See? Yes. But I, I did this once already, yeah? It's boarding. A second? Yes. Second? Yes. I see, okay. Second? Okay. What? Uh, I did this yesterday. Dos dias in a pasado. Uh -huh. I did this already. Once. Primero. Este. Segundo. Oh. Necesito? Yes. See? Si? I see. Your name? <laughs> I have the same problem. Ayora? Si. Mazatlan Ayora. Two days in the past. Si. Pagar? Pagar. Si. Ticket? I paid for that and I paid for this before. Do you have the other ticket? No, they take, to get this, they take this. Yeah, but the partner take the, the ticket different. It's a little long. No, she said come here. She says I've already paid for this, so I don't have to pay again. Then I take this and I go there to get the boarding pass. She's telling me you, uh, you, uh, you don't have the ticket. Your partner is okay. He Oh, I'm by myself. But you don't, they don't uh, take the ticket. They the, need to. The office, the, the, the office took a ticket already. No. Good afternoon. Happened today and they did not charge. Yeah, they charged me. I paid 105 pesos two days ago. See, two days ago I bought this ticket uh -huh. and I had to do this. Yeah. So I paid this already, and then she says, okay, you just have to come back so they weigh it. But you've already paid, so it's okay. okay. See, si. otherwise I can't get this ticket. No, they, I have... Yeah, I've already paid 105. See, in the pasado. Dos dias in the pasado. You can take the barrel of your ticket. See? You can take the barrel of your ticket. He wants to see the ticket. Oh, they took this ticket to give me this. Oh, the receipt. I no say. Moment. No, I don't have this. Uh. Bottom line, I need to pay again. So this is uh, three hours in advance. Thank God I don't have to stand in that one. I was at the front of that one. So. Uh, well, it was a little bit of a hassle factor. I had a nice little chat with the guys at the weigh scale. So again, my fault, I did not keep the magic receipt to prove that I had paid for it, even though I had a ticket and you can't get a ticket without having paid for it. Somehow they couldn't get past that logic. Uh, it's bureaucracy, don't blame the men. And you have to provide this receipt. Well, when I came here and bought my ticket, they took the receipt and I didn't know I was supposed to keep it. And I asked, do I need to do it again? They said, no, you don't have to do it. So I drove right past, I came here and they said, no, actually you gotta go get it. So we got it and uh, we agreed at the weigh scale that it's not the guys, it's the system. And we've defined it. It's a shit system, but it's a system and it works for them and they work for it. So Anyways, coming in and getting the ticket, the boarding pass was easy once you have your weigh scale stub receipt and you have uh, your ticket that you purchased. And now she says, go ahead, drive on. Just drive up to the ship, present your boarding pass, and they'll show you where to do everything. So here we go. Let's try it. You have better fingers. Gracias. Guess I go upstairs. Love it.
<laughs> a lot of fun. A lot of fun. You need straps? Yeah. Can you use rope? Are you okay? Do you have like what, anything that... Can they find you anything? Well, I don't know. She will hopefully find something. I, I have cheesy straps. I, you know. Yeah. I had no idea they have to bring her own straps. Yeah, and when you're at the counter, they ask, hey, do you have straps or... I, on the internet I found out, but yeah, I have um, I have rope, you know, like uh, for camping. Yeah, but we are not going for a half an hour, we are going for 13 hours. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have some, something like this, because I am going on, and I mean... Yeah, that's good. Well, well I mean, I need at least four. Right? Or two. How about they carry? Thank you so much. There she is. She's all bundled up. On the ferry for straps. Well, uh, Greg is there from Los Angeles, and this gentleman here is from Colorado, and he's also doing this trip. So there you go. See you when you see it. Nice. Perfect. Gracias. Okay, at least it's a an elevator or an escalator. Woo! They pat you down. They don't want you bringing alcohol. All right, we're on an escalator going up. I need to get to level C to put my stuff away. Good thing is, they want to do a pat down, they're worried about whether you've got alcohol or something else. Never my problem, never my problem, I love it. Deck C. Deck C, this way. Oh, that's interesting. They make you come up, and then they make you go down. <laughs> that's a funny system. Just above the cars. Deck C. No, 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 no. Something's not right. Why would I go down to the car level? Deck C. You gotta figure this out. Well, there's no doubt about it. That says Deck C, go down. And Deck C, go down. So, Deck C it is. You go down. Why would you take an escalator up to take Deck C down? Let's find out. Gee, maybe I'm maybe my room is in the engine compartment. It doesn't look right. Door opens. And we're in deck C. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm right back at started. Reception. I'm right back to where I started. I did a walk. I went up, over, and now I'm taking the escalator back up. Okay, this time we can try something different because that made me sweat. This time we're going to go to reception. Okay. Let's go see what, see what the system. Oh my God. Hola, señor. Gracias. Habla español, inglés? Inglés. Yes. Uh, and ID, ID to keep, one ID please. Oh, ID. Okay, go to give you your ID tomorrow when you leave the cabin. As to make sure I don't take the cabin with me. <laughs> you can take this, to see movie, seven to eight. Seven in the morning till eight. Yes. Desayudo. 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 My partner is going to show you your room. All right. Now this gentleman's going to show us a way to a cabin. That exit. Have to remember that. Nope. Oh, it's a special, no? Es bien. Oh, necesito más. Los cobijas y los sábanas. Ah, muy bien. Gracias, señor. Gracias, señor. Gracias, gracias. So that was, this is the room. Uh, cabin B, 42. Anyways, it can sleep four because these pop down. It's not going to. It's going to sleep two. Me and me. Maybe three. Me, myself, and I. Yes, it comes with a shower. I don't want to use that. I'm sweating bricks here. Ooh. Comes with a fan, but does not come with air conditioning. And then I got a seating area. There's plug-ins over there so I can charge up. And there's water. I'm not sure if I'd pay extra for that or not. There's TV. He gave me a USB stick for the movies. Yeah, so they give you this USB stick and your key and you get movies. Yeah. This is the Baja Fairies. All right, well, we go up the steep stairs to level A. And it looks like the bar, restaurant, and baño. Or boutique. Oh, look at this. It's a bar area, alcohol. <laughs> they don't want you bringing your own alcohol. <laughs> because they can't sell you theirs then. 
Let's go see what they got. Fruit plate. This is going to be the restaurant area. Ooh, this guy's got six beers already. That looks like a fancy area in here. How nice is that? Okay. There's some games, food. Well, we come out, we can see the deck area while we still have light. We want to sit on these benches for six hours. George decide that they're gonna sleep in the theaters for free uh, they want to check out my room though and George asked if he can use a shower so why not I'm sacked so we depart and I go to sleep that's it for the night hey, I hope you enjoyed today's show and if you did give it a big thumbs up click the bell so you're notified when new episodes are released subscribe man that makes it easier for you to find on your TV and your computer Hey, share it with your friends. It's always great sharing things with your friends. Leave me a message. I love hearing from you guys. And the call to ride will continue. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.